Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 49 of my playthrough of F1 Manager 22. Here's Mercedes, and I have realized we are complete freaking dinguses. Why? Well, I figured out the issues as to why, um, well, basically why Australia went upside down for us, and that's not a geography joke. Um, the brake cooling on this car absolutely stinks. Look at that. You want to see how we're doing grid-wise? Okay, so Nick's car is 18th best on the grid. George's car, well, basically the same. Um, yeah, I'll just show that right there. Change the car number two. Look, it's 19th on the grid. Now compare that to a car like Red Bull that has the second best brake cooling, and Ferrari that has, well, the sixth best, but uh, who's number one there? Well, Alpine's even better. What the brake cooling, I figured it actually does. I assumed all along it had to deal with tire wear, and I realized while George is kind of a pro at saving tires, I don't have to worry about that. But turns out, it also, the lower your brake cooling is, the higher the chance you're going to go off the track or lock up or anything because you can't sufficiently cool the brakes enough. Therefore, you overheat them and off the track you go. So what did I do when we voted for the regulation changes for next year? I voted for airflow focus changes. Now, we don't know the results of that yet, but it actually makes the brake cooling even worse. Why would I do that? I have no idea. Um... Actually, no. No, see, I am a dingus. It actually changes the brake cooling even less, so it just affects the dirty air sensitivity even more. So remember when I said uh, about a minute ago that I'm a total dingus? Well, that's true. I just can't read very well. Oopsies. Anyways, uh, do we have a car part we can develop here? Now, the parts that affect the brake cooling the most are the front wing and the suspension. Don't have any hours or the wind tunnel or the simulator for us to put anything in here, but we are cranking the brake cooling all the way up, which will still not be great, but it'll be a little bit better. Uh, gonna go ahead, dump our idle engineers into that, rush it. That actually be ready in time for the new ATR period to open up. Uh, speaking of which, the research is going to, or the research period is gonna open up in one week but probably going to focus on uh this year's car a bit more before pivoting the next year because again our goal for this season is to win the whole constructors championship and we are not doing a good job of that as we are currently third 32 points behind red bull uh, okay we got imola up next off to europe in about two weeks so gonna go ahead skip forward a little bit And we got uh, low stock on the front wing. That's okay. Go ahead and rush that. Get some more in the inventory. Very good. Actually, let's see what happens with the regulation vote. Okay. So we get... Um, right, so next season. Okay, it's what we voted for. So, engine cooling, brake cooling, won't be affected as much, but dirty air sensitivity of the car will be quite bad. That's okay, I think we're actually all right in dirty air, so that won't be terrible. Keep going a little bit more. Front wing design, ready to go. That's good. Because what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna throw this on the car. We're just going to make the handling a little bit better. Fine by me. Actually, let's go ahead and do emergency manufacture of six of these suckers. Those are both going on the car. Very good. Definitely a handling racetrack, and it's definitely going to help us there. Same as dirty air cornering. So hopefully we can get some redemption here if we don't go flying off track. Anyways, it's going to do it for us here. Off to Imla. And a dry Q1 is in the books here at Imla. And once again, it's an Alfa Romeo at the top. This time, Pierre Gasly at the top of the charts. Four Alfa Romeo. Verstappen P2. Leclerc P3. Perez P4. Uh, George looking competitive in P5. Nick also looking competitive in P6. Uh, the goal of the weekend is basically to keep on track. Nick did not do a good job of that in practice two instances of running wide and actually had a brief crash 
in a corner. Um, luckily, nothing affecting the powertrain, just that front wing change. But still, not exactly a great note to start the weekend on. Eliminated there. No surprise, Latifi, both Williams and both Astons. And a bit of a messy session in Q2, as it was mostly rainy until the very end, where it dried out just a smidge. Verstappen on top there, Gasly P2 over Perez in P3. George P5 with Nick hanging on in P9. Couple surprise eliminations there, both McLarens, well actually that shouldn't be a surprise. Magnussen eliminated in the Haas, Stroll in the Alpha Tauri. But the surprise of the weekend, Charles Leclerc, the defending Emily Grand Prix winner, eliminated by virtue of qualifying 11th. Well, by virtue of uh, everyone taking intermediates in Q2, everyone's got a fresh set. Stoff CU's here, currently got George in P4, Nick down P8, clear Vokan and Vettel. Alpines don't have it as well this weekend. It's the Bulls at the top, we're stamping over Perez. Yeah, we're stamping just godlike in qualifying here. Gasly, four thousand behind Perez, three hundredths ahead of George. Okay, we're stamping just going purple here. Oop, kind of went a little quick there. But George qualifies P3, Nick qualifies P8. No grid penalties on the weekend. Should give us a good uh, baseline to start off with here. Again, just got to keep on track. Well, it's going to be dry, and we're just going to go with your real basic strategy here. Me and the hard tire. Actually, may probably not push. Again, we don't want to exert too much here. Extend the stint just by a lap. Fine with that. Can extend that by about a lap. Or by two. Just stay in the mediums a bit longer. And we're all set. Again, George starting P3. Nick starting P8. Let's get away with the Emilia Romana Grand Prix. They're on their feet in anticipation of this. The there Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. See if Gasly can make and a charge here. Oh, he actually might get a good jump go. there. Oh no, he cuts him off pretty well. Here comes George Scream down the left side. Hope we get P2 pretty quick here. Let's conserve on the tires a little bit. Nicholas especially do that. Let's not take risks with him. As Gasly gets back in front of George. Time might be as long as we stay competitively up here, though. Let's take a look at the strategies. I think everyone's going to be on the mediums. Well, top three are on the mediums. And we got Perez, Sainz, Alonso, and Ricardo on the hards. Only drivers on the softs are Stroll, Magnussen, and Norris. Hoping the pace just kind of carries us ahead. Nick might get a little aggressive on the DRS. Get him around those cars of cars on the hard tires. Open the natural pace in the mediums carries George away from that train of four cars behind him, though. But again, the question is kind of how hard to push with Nick, especially with uh, as many times he's going off this weekend, and how the goals basically just again keep all four tires on the paved stuff. It's never a bad strategy. Never. All right, DRS now open. So for Nick, again, gonna work on some overtakes here. Just push. Don't have that many DRS zones around the track. So to make some work, get around Ricardo and hopefully Alonzo. Hopefully in one fell swoop here. Has yeah, a bit of a gap for me between Sainz and Alonzo. Well, I thought Nick was taking a look around Daniel. What can happen there? It's George. Uh, kind of stuck behind. We're losing some ground to Gasly. Still within range, though.
I think it's really only one the DRS zone, or just the one. We take a look around the right side. We can get him there. Let's try down the front. Yeah, so yeah, we're out of DRS range, so we got to go deploy there. We'll just go standard on the tires anyway. There goes Nick. Taking a look. That's P7. Let's go get one more. Oh, wait till the front straight anyways. The race position gained for Mercedes. Actually, you know, it's a bit of a gap from Sainz to Alonso anyway, so I'm okay just not burning battery right now. Mercedes moved up a place. Well, maybe. Let's see if we get up around uh, Alonso. And have the medium tires carry us up to Perez and Sainz, who again are on the hard tire. George Meanwhile, good bag at range, very good. Should get the DRS down the front. Easily the fastest there by Country Mile. Here comes Nick looking down the right side. Maybe. That'll be P6. It's pushing the fuel a little bit. Currently P6. Go get up there. Okay. Yeah, we need that brake cooling upgrade now because George ran wide despite being in P3. Now we're going to be stuck there for a while. Oh, now we're going. How very nice. Good job. Wasn't expecting brake cooling to be uh, as beneficial as it actually ends up being, but... Oh. What's the point? I ask of you, what is the point? Is that a new race position for Haas? Ah, shut up. And think about Meanwhile, think Nick is fully clear of Lonzo and Ricardo and slowly catching Signs of Perez, which means we're probably going to bin it in about five laps. Burned a lot of fuel, still catching up. Meanwhile, George has to get around Nick Latifi. Woohoo! Former Williams teammate. Now, uh, Andre adversary. Something happened in sector two. What was it? I think someone's run it wide. was Stroll going wide. But I take it he didn't come to a full stop. No, he didn't. How unfortunate for us. It's just red wide in turn 17. He come to complete stop. These guys, well, not so much. Hey, Dixon, DRS range of signs of Perez. Very neat. Very, very deep. George Meanwhile got pushing on the fuel right now. He's fully clear Latifi. Three and a half seconds back from Joe. And then another, well, two and a half back from Albon. All hope is not lost until this. Hey, good news. George make more moves. Now round Joe Guan Yu for a 16th place. So progress, I guess. Uh, three and a half it's seconds behind Albon now. Who's hanging on to the back of both McLarens, who just don't have the pace this weekend. And that being with Norris on the soft tire and both us on the medium tire. Just McLarens, just not that good here at Imola. Again? Oh, he's fine. Uh, well, I know. Once the ATR period opens, we are dumping everything, not into handling, into brake cooling, because this is getting a little obnoxious. Just a little. Making some moves there. Nick up to P4. Good pass. 
on Carl Sainz there as we got the cars there on soft tires now pitting. Magnuson, Norris, and Stroll. Everyone appears. Be on the medium tire. That strategy called for soft, medium, medium. We're just going to lose so much time on the pit lane. I don't quite get the point of doing that. So, Nick looking pretty decent right now. Should be able to get DRS down the front, get around Sergio Perez. Hope we have the medium tires kind of carry us away there. Up front, still between Verstappen and Gasly. They are five seconds clear of this little secondary train. So here comes DRS. Can look for a move. I don't know if he will. Maybe around the outside. Stick a nose in. George now within DRS of Albon. Hot pursuit there. Let's turn the wick up on the field for Nick. See if we can power around that way. Should be able to get him down the front. Check and see here. There's the wing open. Down the left. Good move there, up to P3. Pretty well executed. Meanwhile, George has the wing open. He's trying to see if he can get around the Williams and the McLaren. Thought I was going to take a look. Still stuck behind both of them. Meanwhile, pit window should be opening up in about seven laps for both drivers. Got yellow, yellow. Something happened in sector one. I think someone just ran wide. Oh, they run wide. It was signs. So he's gonna lose some time to Perez. Still within his DRS range, and they're still clear of Alonso. Might help Nick breathe a little bit more. Gasly first to hit the pit lane. He's going to go onto the hard tires here as we're just entering the pit window now. I would bring Nick in. I think Gasly trying to go for the undercut here. I should be able to get it done. We'll just have Nick keep hanging out with these guys for now. Although George. Yeah, I'm coming this time. See if we can undercut somebody. Danny's pretty good with saving tires, so. Oh, box, box, box. Yes, box. And he still can't get around Albon Botas. For whatever reason. Doesn't quite bode well for us, but I guess passing just comes at premium with this course. We'll see if Verstappen decides to come in this lap. And no, he does not. Obviously, Perez and Sainz aren't because they're on the hard tire. We'll just keep carrying on with the DRS here. Vettel now coming in the pits. Again. Again. Seriously, on your end lap. Here's the replay. Now, just I don't, watch the Mercedes here. And they've gone wide. I don't get it. 
way one. Uh. Oh, big lock up there. Break one is bad. I didn't think it's that bad. Spotas and Elbon are also pitting, and we're going to be stuck behind him again. So George for a second race in a row. Now pitted. Might not score any points here. What a day. I said it in Australia, but I'm going to say it here. What a day. Ugh. Nick will probably have to have him go one more lap here. As George is now seven and a half seconds behind Boat House and Albon. Absolutely brilliant. So the Stappen now pitting. Now. Down away with a hard tire. Should have clear track because we got a lock up in sector three and it's not us. For once. It was Seems to have been a Schumacher. Ooh, there goes Gasly, so undercut works. Although they're gonna be right together here. Baden if one to come in right here. So why did I ignore that? Yeah, so it's definitely coming this lap. Hard tire. There you go. Box box. Copy, box. Right, here comes Nick coming in the pits. Last of the medium tire drivers to come in. I think it should get out just behind Joe Guan Yu. Maybe just prior. Down the way, here comes Verstappen and Gasly down the front straight. There they go. Here comes Guan Yu Joe. Ooh, multi car accident, what happened? Lonzo involved. It's a collision. What happened? We can take a look now. Okay, so there we have the LP. Okay, so that is. Ooh, okay. I think former teammates there. Lonzo and Ocon. Okay, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, but. Still gonna be an issue there for Alonzo. And think about left lifting coast. So I think the cars are actually fine. Yeah, I think they're fine for the most part here. Here comes Ocon in the pits. Lonzo staying out there. Is that the hard tire? He's got bigger issues than I thought. That's asking for a lot to make the mediums go that long. Changing the front wing. Changing something. Making forward progress here, maybe. Joe's kind of blocking a little perfectly here as he can make a pass on Aston Martin. Well, maybe we're on the right side. Gets the lunge in there. Gets the wing ahead. There you go. That your elbows out a little bit. P8. This is awesome work. Come on. Let's keep moving forward. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. George, meanwhile, should be within DRS range of Schumacher. 
who's run wide a couple times. Just get him right up there. Probably leapfrog around a couple of these guys. Someone's benched, and that's Stroll. So that's a freebie, we didn't have to do anything there. Caution sector, why a lot of cautions now all of a sudden? He's got George taking a look. Great job. Signs runs wide, turn six. Looks like it's fine, kept it going. George might have DRS here as well as the pass, very good. Up to P17. Let's go track down this Williams. Well, George got one Williams already as we're approaching the halfway point. There's the other one, that's P15 now. Just behind Botas. And Ocon. So P13 might be a play. Lando we know has to pit again. I believe the same goes for Vettel and Magnussen, or... Oh, well, Stroll and Magnussen, but Stroll's already behind us, so... Oh well, keep moving forward. Here comes Magnussen Norris now coming in for their second pit stop to the medium tire. So George should be able to get by them both, no problem. There he goes, up to P13. Just about within DRS range of Ocon and Botas. Still waiting for Alonzo and Joe to pit, so George should still be able to get into the points here. Obviously not going to be as good of a result as we were expecting entering the weekend, especially with how good the car is cornering-wise. Until we get the brake cooling issue situated, we're not going to be able to make any forward progress, but that's what we're going to dump most of our research into, or most of our development into. What's new aerodynamic or the new ATR period opens here. Well, here comes Nick down the front straight, making the move on Alonzo. That's P7 the hard way. This guy would just, just go mental. Go. He's only about six seconds behind Gasly. So Nick putting together quite strong it's a race, race here. Gained from Mercedes. Again, everyone on the hard tire. Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, and Ricardo. They still have to pit. Should be getting ready to do so here in just a few short laps. So Nick's just taking huge chunks of time out of their lead now. He's doing it while uh, managing the tires pretty well from what we're seeing. Go ahead, burn some more fuel. George will wait until hopefully gets a pass with DRS here. So here comes Perez. He's the first to blink with the cars and the hard tire. But signs clear to lead. Ooh, it's actually soft tires going on. Probably well, mediums. So it'll be quick. You have the fastest lap. There goes Nick, has fastest lap there. else pitting yet. So here comes George with DRS. Not close enough to make a move yet. And Leclerc and Ricardo now coming into the pits. Blonde's also coming in, but he was behind us already. So here comes Nick going to jump up to P4. Leclerc in the pit lane now. Just waiting on signs to pit. Nick could be on his way to that podium. As long as he doesn't screw it up. Stuff they have in sector one here. The signs run wide again. Someone's run wide. Ghastly that time. Still going though. There we go, George up into the points for right now. And those guys are on soft tires though, and it appears Perez might be on scuffs, maybe. About time we got past both these guys though, so let's go ahead, get ready to go for the overtake, turn the fuel up. So you have overtake. So you finally Coming. get around these two as signs now come in the pits. 
Stack and clear back to the lead. Down the way, quick stop for signs. So watch out for the arrest. Out of the arrest. Yeah, hopefully we're good. Try to run through it already. So charge a bit the pack. That'll look good for a strong result here up in P5. Bit of bell now as with the cars the with the soft tires now catch up. Leclerc gets around George. Have Ricardo behind him still, so got the final points position. Ferrari, Hopefully Charles position. can lead us on past the Alpine and the McLaren here. Why is it we're the only cars Stafford. that when we run wide, we have to come to a stop? So we're stamping runs wide turn six. He keeps going. Ooh. Oh, because George can't make a pass around Botas. Ricardo just got around both of us. Because we got stuck behind Valtteri on the front straight. Well, okay, we're back at the points, but we should be up in P9 right now. Car making moves on us because he's on the soft tire. Got Leclerc in front of him. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Hope we just kind of stay up here. Push with the fuel on Nick again. He's just under three seconds behind Gasly. Perez charging. Still five and a half seconds behind us though. As soft tires are about to eclipse us. Wear wise. Still a long ways to go to take those soft tires. Now, oh, 12 to go. George finally yeah. makes a move here on Ocon. Up to P9 now. Just leaving Valtteri in the dust. Oh, we do the same against Ocon. Do I think cast the pit again? Get Ocon on the medium tire, and I imagine they're pretty worn at this point. Well, decently worn. And I was thinking they're probably asking a lot of asking the medium tires to go as long as they are, but Whatever. Speaking of asking tires to go for a while, got signs, or not signs. Perez now about uh, three and a half seconds behind Nick DeVries. I think his tires are going to be falling off the cliff within three, four laps. We'll see. Well, eight to go, and Perez is catching. Just about within DRS range, should probably be there for the next lap. Now again, tires start falling off at around 50% a little bit, so that's about where he's at. So even if he gets around us, and with the rate that his tires are going to continue to wear, should be a bit of a battle here for the final podium spot. And is he close enough? Yes, he is. DRS open for Perez. As Nick's actually slipping away, He's slipping further behind Gasly. So, Frenchman should have P2 all locked up here. They don't want to push on the tires because we're it's already risky enough with our brake cooling what it is. It's a chance of Nick going flying off the track if we push. Just get increased. George, meanwhile. Had Ocon get back by him. So that's going to be for P9 here. Someone locks up. It was. Accident. Copy. Vettel. Let's take a look that at the That might be a freebie. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. Well, this is a corner. Nick's going to have trouble all day. There's the Lose a chunk of the wing. Ooh, it's totally missing the front wing. Okay. Air's getting warm. That's not good. Gotta be careful of that. So we got six to go now. George gets around Vettel up to P9 okay. now. So here comes Perez looking down the inside. He's got P3 now. 
position gained for a Mercedes. Should hopefully be able to stay within range. Let's push on the fuel a little bit. And think about the lifting coast. Let's try not to run him out, though. Looks like George gets up around Ocon with the use of DRS. Hopefully, it just stays that way. It's a race Let's position gained for Mercedes. With the ERS here for a little bit. All right, that's good. Ocon's medium tire is going to start getting somewhat worn here. Gotta watch out for the fuel in Nick's car now. Increasing lifting coast just a little. It's kind of the wing open. And Nick, let's try a move. Get down the right side, maybe. Oh, uh, he's not gonna get there in time. Ooh, Nick had the run there. He's gonna try it. Sergio's tires might be about to fall off a cliff, but they're under 40% now. I got four more laps of this to go. It's gonna be pretty close here. Some locks up. I think it was Verstappen, it wasn't Gasly. It was... Metal again. Wow. Two laps to go. Staff in the front look for his third consecutive win. Here comes Nick looking down the left side. It's going to be tight. Uh, I don't know if he has it yet. Sergio's tower's got to be nearly completely gone. Just saving up for one last jump down the front. We got the one DRS zone here, so just gotta time it perfectly. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pushing the fuel now. Let's go for the overtake. Step and takes the white flag. Overtake is available. Press that button. Let's go. We just got one lap remaining. Something to the left. Sergio defends. You got to look to the right, Nick. Sends it down there. Come on. Yeah, there's P3. Something Come on, Nick. Job, mate. The hot and temp's just going to be some lifting coast. There's no DRS zone back here. Let's you know, see if George can fend off Ocon. That should hopefully do it. Fend with the ERS. Push with a fuel smidge. Hopefully George should lock down P8. Serious tires now hit the 30% threshold, so they're going to fall okay. off even more. So we are low on battery at the moment. That's all right. Step across the line, third consecutive victory, third of the season. He's your winner at Imola, extending his points lead. Gas is going to take P2. Here we go, final charge across the line. Over the finish line and today's winner. Nick DeVries, first ever F1 podium. There you go. Meanwhile. Not the ideal result we wanted from George. Because he should have been on for a podium. Potentially a win. George going to cross the line here. P8. Well, 
Leclerc had the fastest lap at the end of the day, but again, points paying positions for Stappen, Gasly, DeVries, Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, Ricardo, George Russell, Ocon, then Alonso. Best of the rest was Botas. Then you had Williams putting together a strong run with Alex Albon, P12. Then you had Norris, Joe Guan Yu, Magnussen, Stroll, Vettel, Schumacher, Sonoda, and Latifi. Driver standings now. Uh, gap now. A whopping 36 points after four races. Verstappen over Leclerc. George, seven points behind Leclerc for third, or for second standings. Nick jumps three spots up to P5. 33 points says name now. Seven points behind Sergio Perez. Constructors, well, we tied Ferrari and Alpha for that, uh, Alpha Romeo for that matter, for uh, second most points gained out of the weekend, but Red Bull extends their lead in the Constructors to nearly 50 points over Ferrari. Both 50 points ahead of us. Uh, we really need that with brake cooling upgrades to come in so we can keep it on track long enough to uh, start chipping some points back. Well, both drivers have uh, some driver development points to use. Nick, we're going to put that into control. This is now overall 77. Very good. George, I think we still need to focus on defending. So we'll put that there for you. Oliver, nothing new for you. Staff, does anybody have anything? Nope. So, going to have the new suspension with uh, the minor brake cooling upgrades coming in time for Miami, which will be the next race. And six days, we're going to have the new ATR period open so we can start uh, further upgrades, probably either front wing or the suspension to uh, get better performance on the brake cooling. Because again, as soon as we get that, I think we'll be okay. But Imola could have went a little better, but hey, got podium for Nick. And if he can keep the car on track and keep that pace up and we can get George up there contending for wins. We can not only catch up to Red Bull, but hopefully eclipse them. But still got plenty of work to do. Still plenty early in the season, though. Brand new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when future episodes of the series come out. So you can keep track of our progress and hopefully bear witness to us uh, catch a Red Bull here. And to everybody, thank you for watching.